Hello students. So today I am going to start a new chapter, Nutrition in Animals. So we have studied in the previous chapter that plants, they can make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Now animals, however, they cannot make their own food by photosynthesis. So since they cannot make their own food, they need ready-made food, right? Now this ready-made food, it comes from plants or from other animals. Thus, this mode of nutrition, what we can say as we have learned from the previous chapter, this type of uh, mode of nutrition of uh, nutrition is known as what is known as heterotrophic mode of nutrition, right? Now, what is animal nutrition? The process of taking in food by an animal and its utilization in the body is known as what is known as animal nutrition, as you can see in the slide, right? Now, this animal nutrition it takes place in five steps now what are the five steps number one is ingestion number two is digestion number three is absorption number four is assimilation and number five is ejection we will read about these steps in details about this later on but for now i'm just telling you what is the meaning of each of the following steps so number one as you can see is what ingestion so what is ingestion ingestion means what the process of taking food into the body right like we are the human beings how do we take our food we take our food through our hand we just put it inside our buccal cavity or oral cavity that means inside the mouth right now next process next process is digestion what is digestion the process in which the food containing large insoluble substances are broken down into small water soluble substances which can be absorbed by the body is called what is called digestion okay next is what absorption now what is absorption the process in which the digested food passes through the intestinal wall into the bloodstream is called absorption next is assimilation what is assimilation the process in which the absorbed food is taken in by the body cells and later on it is used for energy growth and repair is called assimilation and the final step is ejection what is ejection the process in which the undigested food is removed from the body is known as ejection about each of the steps we will discuss later on in details just for now i have just told you what are the definitions now the next topic is animal take in food by different method just you have to know which of the following animals as you can see in the slide how do they take their own food because we all know that animals they are also having life and they also need food for survival so let's see how the animals different animals how do they take in their food so number one is what number one is frog now frog is an animal which eat what which eat flying insect as food right now how this frog they uh, take in their food the frog they utilizes its long and cleft tongue right cleft tongue means a forked tongue which is used to care which is used to catch its prey like insects okay next suppose butterfly butterfly what is the food of butterfly the food of butterfly is nectar what is nectar nectar is a sugary fluid which is present in the flower now this butterfly it uses its long feeding tube to suck nectar from flower just like as we see pepsi or coca cola or any other soft drink using a straw the same method right now one more example i'm giving you which is not there in the slide bees and hummingbirds bees and hummingbirds they also suck the nectar from the flowers in plants right now next mosquitoes now both male and female mosquitoes they feed blood from the other animals and that includes what that includes human beings right now infants like infants of humans and many other animals for example cows dogs etc they feed on mother milk by what mother milk by sucking next example as we can see in the slide is what snails right now snails uh, snails what do they do snails they feed on algae algae it's a very small plant smallest plant rather we can say by scrapping it from rocks right next snakes snakes are what snakes are the flesh eater right now they eat animals like rats etc okay now what do they do snakes like python okay what do they do they swallow the animal as a whole which they prey upon right next another example i'm giving you which is not there in the slide eagle 
eagle it is a large bird and it feeds on the flesh of its prey by tearing its flesh with its powerful hooked beak their hooked beak is very very powerful next is what the simplest animal the unicellular animal amoeba amoeba it is what it is a tiny aquatic animal which ingests its food with the help of pseudopodia now what is pseudopodia pseudopodia is false feet we will read in details about pseudopodia when i will discuss about the feeding and movement of amoeba later on right and last but not the least human beings human beings use hands to put the food in the buccal cavity already i have told now one more interesting phenomenon i want to share with you all about starfish i hope all of you know about starfish it is an aquatic animal now starfish it has got an amazing way of taking in food do you know how like starfish they feeds on sea animals for example self uh, shellfish then oysters which are present in the sea okay now they are covered by a hard shell of what calcium carbonate right now what do they do after opening the shell of its prey the starfish what do they do they pops out its own stomach through its mouth that means they take out their own stomach through its mouth right now what do they do the food the what do they do the next the stomach surrounds the soft body of the prey okay which is inside the shell next the starfish again brings back its stomach containing the prey into the body okay then the food is like digested slowly by the starfish so it's an outstanding phenomenon by which the starfish that takes in food okay so these are the several definitions by which animals they take in food by different methods each of the animal they have got an uncommon way of taking in food now the next process is digestion as i already said you what is ingestion i have discussed about ingestion ingestion means the process of taking in food now if i consider regarding the human being in this uh, chapter mostly we will read about human beings the digestive system of human beings so human beings as i said you how do they take in food they take in food using their hand okay now using their hand where do they put the food using their hand they put the food inside the buccal cavity or mouth cavity we can also say it as what oral cavity right now inside the buccal cavity what are the organs present teeth is present tongue is present okay so in the process of ingestion this teeth and tongue both of them are associated next process is what digestion now definition of digestion already i have said what is the definition of digestion here you can see the process in which the food containing large insoluble substances are broken down into small water soluble substances which can be absorbed by our body is called digestion okay now in the simple term what we can say digestion it means what it means dissolving of food okay digestion it makes the food soluble so that it can be absorbed and utilized by the body okay now this digestion it can be take place by two method what are the two method physical method and chemical method okay now physical method what does it include physical method it include chewing and grinding the food in the mouth okay and chemical method it includes what it includes the addition of digestive juices to food by the body itself okay now what happens during the process of digestion the complex starch carbohydrate which are present in our food in class 6 already you have read that which of the which of the food contains carbohydrate which of the food contains protein and which of the food contains fat now one thing this carbohydrate or starch it is what it is a complex molecule okay now after digestion what happens this carbohydrate or starch they are broken down into the simpler molecule known as what known as glucose similarly protein they are broken down into amino acids and fat they are broken down into fatty acid or glycerol okay now what i was telling that what happens during the process of digestion this complex starch carbohydrate it is broken into glucose fats into fatty acids and proteins they are broken into amino acid now what happens now these glucose fatty acid and glycerol okay and amino acid as well they all are water soluble and simple substances which can pass through the wall of our small intestine into the blood and hence they gets absorbed in the body and after absorption what is the next step takes place the next step is the assimilation assimilation that means the distribution of this 
water soluble food particles to every cells where actually the breakdown of food occurs and what happens and release of energy take place okay now next next one is what alimentary canal you can see in this picture about alimentary canal now what is alimentary canal alimentary canal basically it is a long tube running from mouth to anus of a human being in which digestion and absorption of food take place okay now these alimentary canal in other words it is also known as what gut 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 or digestive tracts okay now its length almost it is 8 to 9 meter long in a normal adult human being right now this alimentary canal it is actually a continuous canal which has many paths in it what are the paths now what are the paths the paths it includes mouth or buccal cavity as we can say esophagus what is the other name of esophagus food pipe then stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus okay along with that three glands are also associated with this alimentary canal what are the three glands associated salivary gland liver and pancreas okay now how does it take place means what is the process that is involved in this alimentary canal what happens the food enters the alimentary canal at the mouth right now as the food travels through the various parts of the alimentary canal what happens it gradually gets digested okay now during the passage of the food through alimentary canal the various glands as i said you salivary gland liver pancreas and inner walls of stomach and small intestine what happens they secrete different digestive juices now these different digestive juices has got enzyme which breaks down the complex molecule into simpler molecules right and then the simpler molecules are absorbed by the body and this absorption it takes place in small intestine when i will discuss in details about small intestine then you will come to know in details right next what happens this undigested part of the food it is thrown out through the last part of the alimentary canal known as what known as anus okay now what happened one important question can arise what is the important question how does the move forward how does the sorry how does the food move forward in an alimentary canal okay now this food it moves forward in the alimentary canal by a special process known as what peristalsis okay what is peristalsis peristalsis it is a wave like movement caused by alternate contraction and relaxation of muscles of alimentary canal which pushes the food forward in the alimentary canal okay now the mouth cavity by which the food is taken into the alimentary canal and chewed is also known as buccal cavity or oral cavity okay so in our next class we will discuss in details about human digestive system what are the organs involved in human digestive system as well as what are the glands what do they secrete and what are their specific function so thank you children